Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to bring to you a tag video that was actually created by Julie from Nobody's Beauty Guru. She tagged all of us that are in the suite on Project Panning, Project Pan, but this tag goes out to anybody who wants to do this and this is Valentine's Day related. So this video is going to go up tomorrow which is Valentine's Day and um, these questions are really really cute. They're topics based off of um, Valentine's Day themed things. Um, so you'll see when I start getting into the questions what that really means. So I have um, my list of questions and my answers here and I actually picked out some products to go along with my answers. I know some people who have done this tag are just answering the questions which is fine but I did a little bit of a different take on it and I decided to pick out um, some products that might represent um, these categories. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and the first category is Be Mine. What is the makeup product that tops your wish list? The first thing that I could really think of that stands out to me that I have been wanting is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beverly Hills yes Beverly Hills Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette I love the colors in that palette and it's just something that I have kind of been lusting after but I have enough makeup palettes and probably enough colors that would be similar to those in that palette so I have not purchased it but it still definitely tops my makeup wish list. Um, the next category is your glowing. What is your go-to product that makes you glow? And my option for that um, is definitely highlighter um, and highlighting face primers but I decided to pick out the Becca Champagne Pop because this um, of all things really really gives me that glow that I look for. It's a really really beautiful highlight and um, I really really enjoy this. Definitely makes me glow. So the next category is making me blush. What is your go-to flushed cheek blush? And that is um, for me is NARS Orgasm. You have all seen what NARS Orgasm looks like, but this is mine and I'm working on finishing this up. I did recently run across a dupe of this and that is from Flower Beauty. Both very similar, but this type of blush that kind of has a pink golden undertone to it really gives a nice um, pink flush to my cheeks. So that is um, the kind of blush that I think of when I think of just having a really nice fresh blushed look. The next category is Kiss Me. What is your go-to just kissed lip color? I kind of struggled with this but I've been using a product recently that actually gives me my perfect for me lip color and that is the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm and I think products like this in general probably give you your best just kissed lip look because this brings out your natural like a, a color that naturally um, looks good on your skin tone based on how it reacts to your um, body chemistry and the warmth warm I can't speak today the warmth of your lips so this is what I think of most recently when I think of my just kissed um, lip color the next category is chocolate. What is your favorite bronzer or contour product? And that for me is this um, Wet n Wild Caramel Toffee Contouring Palette. Obviously this shade right here that you use to contour with. This is a really cool toned light bronze shade that is really really beautiful for contouring so that is why I chose this I use this all the time um, I really enjoy my Kat Von D contour palette as well but I find that even with that sitting right there on the counter I reach for this just because I'm used to reaching for this and I really love the way that it looks on my skin so this is my choice for my favorite contouring or bronzing product 
The next category is dessert. What is your favorite scent? And my favorite scent of all time is Mac Turquatic. I love this so, so much. Definitely doesn't make me think of dessert, but um, definitely my all time favorite scent ever. And um, once this rollerball is gone, I will definitely purchase a full size of this product again. The next category is glammed up. What makeup product feels makes you feel extra done up and that for me is anything kind of glitter right i chose the lorac 3d liquid luster drops and anytime i really want to glam up and i look or just make myself feel extra extra glam i will pull out this 3d uh, liquid luster this has a kind of white gold shade to it and I feel like I could add it to any eye look and really really pump up the glam for that look so this is the kind of product I would choose for what makes me feel super done up the next category is Netflix and chill and this is what makeup item is a must have even on your no makeup or low makeup days and those products for me are um, either a gloss or a mascara what is it with me and dropping things um, or a mascara so gloss and mascara on my low makeup or no makeup days definitely make me at least feel a little put together um, so these are the things you'll kind of catch me wearing in my house, even when I'm not going anywhere, even when I'm not seeing anybody but my husband, or even just myself, um, gloss and mascara. Um, the next category is it's not me, it's you. What makeup brand or line do you no longer like? And I really struggled with this one. I haven't really blacklisted any um, makeup brands from my collection if there's a product that I like from a line I like that product it doesn't mean I have to like the entire line it doesn't mean I have to like the the whole brand itself um, but I would say um, the brand that I have started to decline my liking for over time is Physicians Formula. Um, I just pulled a couple of products that um, I have recently decluttered from my collection. Uh, the packaging has always bothered me. Such big packaging, so unnecessary. I don't know if it's just an attention thing to grab attention on the shelves, but I think Physicians Formula has built up enough of a name for itself that they don't need big flashy packaging like this. Um, but that's the biggest reason. Um, and then I've realized that a lot of their products have a lot of glitter component to it, and I just don't desire putting a bunch of glitter on my face. And it's so funny because there are other brands that I don't mind the glitter but um i don't know it's just not flattering so as far as at least like the blush products from physicians formula i'm i'm done with um so that would be my best option for that category the next category is young love what new product are you loving and this is not a new product by any means and not even necessarily a new product to me um but it is. I mean, I've just recently started using this because I pulled out a sample and then I pulled out um, the full size that I had of it because I really, really loved the sample. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place. Just something I bought long ago and never used because I just had this hoarding mentality um, but I use the sample just to get rid of some of the samples in my makeup collection and I have absolutely fallen in love with this Estee Lauder Double Wear which you know the hype is real on this product um, so this is a I guess new to me product that I have been loving the next category is lost love what is a product you used to love but you forgot about and I'm actually wearing one of the products right now I chose two products for this category um, this one that I'm wearing is the Kat Von D Rakeem 
um, Raquim, Raquim, I'm not sure how, Raquem, Raquem, I'm not sure how to say this. Um, it's R-E-Q-U-I-E-M, and this is one of their everlasting liquid lipsticks and I really really love this color I recently pulled this out for my 100 colorful empties and I am really looking forward to wearing this and another thing that I saw somebody mention in their video recently that I used to love so so much this was the only highlighter I had in my collection and this is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle definitely a cult classic and um just something that I have forgotten about in lieu of my 50,000 other highlighters that I've been using. So I definitely want to get some use out of this soon. I'm really excited to um, pull this back out because I do, do truly miss this. And the final category is Together Forever. What products will you always repurchase? And that is my Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous um, Makeup Setting Spray. I used to purchase the Kat Von D Locket um, Setting Spray. Then they stopped making it. Now they've repackaged it. And part, I'm not going to lie, part of the appeal to me for the Kat Von D was the packaging. And now I just think the packaging is super boring. It used to have this really pretty scrolling um, flower design on it and now it's just got this you know black and silver kind of packaging um, but this is just as good and definitely way 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 cheaper um, the scent is pretty much the same it's got a nice cooling cucumber scent and I really really enjoy that um, but this is definitely something I have purchased over and over and over again and I will continue to do so because it does the job and it's the right price point for me so that is it for the um, Valentine's Day makeup tag created by Julie from um, Nobody's Beauty Guru. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please join in on this tag. I know um, this is not going up until Valentine's Day for me, so it's kind of going to be like over and done with by the time you see this and maybe choose to do this tag um, because you've seen me do it. But please um, feel free to still go ahead and do this. I still think it's a really, really cute idea. I love how she came up with the, not just the questions, but the little pre um categories that go with it that relate to Valentine's Day. I just think that's really, really cute. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.